So y'all, we're skin with a real clear. We're taking a last minute trip, spontaneous trip to. What am I tell you? Yeah, we gonna tell you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, I'm back again with a whole new video. You guys, I haven't been on here in a really long time, so. This light is too bright for me. But you guys, we are, our flight was delayed. So right now, we're eating. Y'all, we're literally taking a day trip, okay? It's a day trip, nothing fancy. I like this filter. It's nice Very and quick. It looks like your regular things. Yeah, dude. It's a very small. quick trip, you guys. Um, we just, Haitians just was like, you want to go to something? I was like, heck yeah. Why the freak not? What are we doing? Nothing. January second. We do not do last minute years. spontaneousness. We don't know what we're gonna do when we go to wherever we're going, because it's literally a day. But y'all, I miss y'all. Y'all miss me? Yeah, you do. But y'all, welcome back, y'all. I'm gonna start doing more travel vlogs. I think. Um, I want to be more consistent this year, y'all. I really do. I really, 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 really do. It's just hard, y'all. It's hard because I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, damn, I'm so cute. Oh, my gosh. But, um, yeah, y'all, it's really hard to be consistent, y'all. And I'm trying to figure out what I really want to do on YouTube, like what I want to talk about. But I really do want to do more travel stuff. Because that's usually what I'm doing most of the time. Um, or like, just chit chat, you know, advice and stuff like that. But we'll see. This is the first video back. So, yeah. But anyways, you guys. So, my nail came off earlier. Literally, as I was taking my bag off. And it chipped, you yeah, Look at this. I'm going to Miami with a chip in it. Just and then... Ooh. Um, what I was told you that she, um, I told you before, yeah. I don't see any names. Uh, How about the boyfriend? Uh-huh. My parents uh, didn't approve. That's her. She looked like the type. Right? But it flicked somewhere to, like, the side. And he was like, oh, my gosh, it's here. And I was like, that's so embarrassing. Because <laughs> Pay was like, oh, we can glue it. Yeah, I said that shit loud. Yes, and then he him. noticed it was right next to him. I was like, so embarrassing. But I picked it up. <laughs> I can't wait to go and fix my wig. I picked it up, y'all, because why the freak not? I don't know, very embarrassing, very ratchet, a little ghetto. But I don't want to go with a chip fingernail. Like, that's ugly. Uh, I'm going to paint my fucking nails. We yeah, ain't yeah, going out bad, you know? So much sunlight. This is a good time to take a picture y'all yes. i got food in my mouth y'all ain't even tell me y'all fake <laughs> i'm fake i miss you <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm gonna post a video but i'm not gonna Starting off intro year with a trip because i need it i don't really know what i want to do with my youtube channel but i'm just gonna start it i'm just gonna yeah. do it and then the flight as is it, super delayed right as now, it becomes though. more consistent and becomes more flowy yeah. I'll be able to like have She's the intro the ready, YouTube. have the outro ready. Look her hair is bomb. Shout out to Chanel for the hair song. Shout out to Chanel, sis locks underscore. Go follow her. <laughs> but y'all, seriously. So I think I'm just gonna post this video. Go with the flow. Yeah. She's my because I said just posting. Figure it out as you go. Just like you said. Oh, um, thank you. Right, we here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, she has uh, a podcast to follow, too. That's you have a podcast. podcast? Yes. Okay. Fire. I always wanted to start a podcast. Y'all think we should start a podcast? Actually, think we start my a cousin podcast? know about that. She she be putting on um, Apple on Apple Music and everything on iTunes. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. You just start it. Do we need a microphone, a real one? But, y'all, we think about, we want to do a talk I'll show. I'll talk to her then. about it. Hi, babe. Guess what we're doing? We literally just took a spontaneous ass trip. Oh, don't be giving that dry wave. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but yeah you guys so yeah i'm just gonna post a video go with the flow and just post it just do it because at this point yeah, i'm never I'm gonna so post tired, anything if i try to do everything so perfectly you know what i'm saying so if you out there you want to start your youtube channel just start i started like a year ago and i've been consistent then i stopped i don't know why oh i wish you was here bro Yeah. You're at the airport again. Oh, you heard me, babe? Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm vlogging this moment right now. She said start. Literally now. vlogging Period. at this moment. We had a talk yesterday. I listened this time. <laughs> Period. But yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna post this video and see where the wind takes me. That's where we're going. That's the sun for me. Jeez. But anyways, y'all, the goal is, okay, y'all, this yeah. is my long-term goal. I want to be able to inspire, to inspire people, right? And I do want to talk show. Oh, did you get to, um, did you get home yet? Give advice and stuff like that, so. And I feel like YouTube is the best place for me to get there. Yeah, and I feel like I'm um, really distracted with, like, you know, just trying to be a millionaire and all these you things. You talk to my camera, too. And about the things I actually I love said. to do. So, definitely talking to people and... I want people to see my life, you know? That's what I want, so that's what I'm gonna do. Period. Kudos to Bay for helping me get back on track with that yesterday. Period. So, that's what I'm gonna do, just start and just see where the, see where life takes me. But yeah, y'all not gonna get an intro because there's no intro ready, there's no nothing. So as soon as it's all ready and done, that's when you'll have it. Just gonna drop, I'm just gonna drop, drop the, I'm just gonna drop this vlog, that's how it's coming. That's how we coming now. I can't for y'all. I can't wait. We honestly don't know what we're even gonna do when we go to our destination. We just going. Y'all don't even know where we're going yet. Five dollars. Yeah, guess where we're going? Yeah. Guess two guesses. Going. You only get two guesses. Five dollars. Five dollars. I cash it really right now. Yeah. Five dollars each. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> we can do five dollars each. $5 no, each. they getting five dollars. <laughs> if you guess where we're going, it better be no announcement. <laughs> and it's gonna be like a given. Right. This better not. I ain't gonna say nothing. Dang, they taking that long. For real. But y'all, we this we were supposed to take we were supposed to take this by two something. It's literally four oh eight. Yeah, bro. Like, like it makes no sense. But guess where we're going, y'all? We're going to But y'all. No, not Hopefully, yet. Texas? Not yet, babe. We thought about it, though. Yeah, we thought about it. We thought about going to Texas today, but nope. I want to be TikTok famous, too, though. But that requires too much work. And I feel like you got to have really good light and a really good space to be you got TikToking to... everywhere, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So when I finally move, y'all, yes, I'm moving. I'm not going to tell y'all where, but I'm going to be moving. Well, me and my best friend be moving real soon in the summertime. So it's gonna be a lot of going back and forth, checking places out this year. But we thought we were boarding right now. Yeah, they're boarding now. Uh oh, we about oh, to we're still waiting, so we're just gonna wait out. My edges all weird. Yeah, man. But yeah, y'all. So yeah, I'm just gonna start this YouTube again. I was so consistent before, but I don't know why I stopped. It's just so hard, really, being consistent. It you know? is like, hard. It's really hard. You don't ever mention when, that part though. You always mention be consistent, be consistent. It's yeah, hard. but they don't never mention how hard it is. And it's like you get so distracted with everything going on. It's easy to fall off, but I'm gonna try my best. My best. My best. My best to stay consistent. Which one they need clean up I don't really know what <laughs> this channel would be about. It's gonna be a bunch of stuff. Yes. 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 Me. So when I blow up, you be like, I've been here first. Yes. And you know, I have old videos from my. I have old videos from YouTube. They're not showing, but I don't know if I should unarchive them. 
So that means you'll see every freaking video that I had. I'll probably do that. Like, they're old videos, so, like, you'll see, like, the little glow up. Not too big of a glow up, but a little glow up, you feel me? Can you come on, man, so I'm over here chilling here, like... Improvement in quality of the videos, because look at this. This is bomb quality. Like, are you kidding me? It's fire. Like, come on. Um, I gotta find the, get the charger to the camera you gave me. Mm -hmm. I can't find my charger. It's in the house. I could never find anything, y'all. I lost my Apple Watch in the house. I lost her hot comb in my house. Watch when I move, I'm gonna find everything. Yeah, you will find it. But y'all, yes, so I can't wait to show y'all like what we move into. We're speaking yeah. into existing because it is happening. She gonna be fire. It's definitely gonna motivate me to do more videos and yeah. record myself. And my just my I just feel like that'll be my creative space, you know. Cause sometimes y'all, when you live under your parents' roof, you're not allowed to really express yourself. You, you know you can't what I mean? Yourself. So if you live in an African household, don't even think about expressing yourself. <laughs> don't even think about it. It's just hard to really express yourself, you know, be creative, you know, because you're so in a box all the time. So I feel like this is a good change, you know what I mean? We're constantly being judged. You're still in the same situation and you're getting the same results and nothing's changed. It's time to change it up. It's time to fix it up. People are gonna say no. People are gonna tell you, oh, don't do it. People are gonna say, oh, save money. No, you're always gonna spend money. So do what you want. Yeah, I ain't never gonna change. <laughs> bills always gonna like, be there, all that shit. Exactly. The problem is Last not bills. Month. The problem is you're not making enough money. So make more money so you can do as you please. And make more money because then your parents won't have shit to say. Because if you take care of them, then they won't say that. Even if you have money, you have shit to say. <laughs> but y'all, yeah. For young adults, ages like 18 to 23, um, if your parents say you can't do something, why do you listen to them? I just would be like, I'm, I'm not asking, I'm telling you what I'm doing. <laughs> so if you could tell me what your reasoning is, I'd love to know. I have a question for young adults, like, ages like 18 to 23. Right. Um, if your parents say you can't do something, why do you listen to them? I just would be like, I'm, I'm not asking, I'm telling you what I'm doing. Like so if you could tell me what your reasoning is, I would love to know. I have a question for young adults, ages like 18 to 23. Um, if your parents say you can't do something, why do you listen to them? I just would be like, I'm not asking, I'm telling you what I'm doing. So if you could tell me what your reasoning is, I would love to know. I have a question for young adults, ages like 18 to 23. Just because you're telling me you're going somewhere, now you don't have respect for them. Like, mommy, I'm going out. Parents just want you locked in a house under their wing, under their like. But for me to tell you where I'm going, that's respect enough. And, and I feel like it's. I feel like. I feel like it's easier for guys to just do whatever they want. It's yeah. harder for girls to like just be themselves because it's always that stigma of like. You want to go out. Us being wild or you know. Oh, to get pregnant. You know, it's all that extra stuff, and it's like. It's so ain't nobody worried about that though. Like you worried about me getting pregnant? I just want to leave the house. Well, that doesn't mean I'm going immediately to do like. But if I choose to, like, you know, ideally, no matter, of course, I don't want to do that. That's their business. To get pregnant? Yeah, yeah that's their business, especially our age. Yeah, I'm 24 now, y'all. Like, if I was 16, so. okay. But we 24, 23, like. Right? It's like, you get tired of telling people where you're going, why you want to do this. Like, you're, do you're just doing it because you want to. That's just the logic behind it. Like, I want to. And that's okay, y'all. Don't feel bad for, like, want to do the stuff you want to do. Like, you're go you're getting older. You like a little... You like things differently. You like more things. You like to experience more. That's okay. That means you're growing up. Like, come on. I don't let anybody make you feel bad for wanting to do the things you love to do. Period. Okay, y'all? But we about, to, we about to head out. It's time for us to... Board. Um, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Probably catch y'all when we land and get in a hotel. All right. Put on her makeup, y'all. But I want to ask her a serious question. So, how do you feel about like driving a nigga around, like your dude around? Like, what if he don't have no car? He really not really working on getting a car right now, and he you just always driving him places. Every time y'all go somewhere, you driving, and like you really just you just. You just... Just an Uber driver. <laughs> just a designated Uber driver. Yes, but that's really your boyfriend. Like, you really love him. But he don't give you no... He just don't chip in. That's not my... My nigga better never have the fucking audacity to really have me drive around and his ass sitting in the passenger seat sleeping <laughs> while I'm driving. Like, I just can't imagine myself... There's so many people in that situation now. So, for those who are in that situation, let me tell you this. Leave Word, that nigga. 
he has no respect for you. Like, if he is literally having you drive around, drive him around, he does not look at you as his girlfriend. He looks he looks at you as his chauffeur. She like y'all seriously though, he's not offering anything. Like you just always the person to like drive when you go out. He don't offer no gas money. Just just freeloading really. Yeah, he free. He just, just free loan off you. That's not your man. Like, he yeah. will offer to, at least he will drive your car, put some gas in there. Like, baby, like, here's $40 for gas this week. Right. Like, something. But a lot of people like to say, like, well, if it was the other way around, y'all wouldn't chip in. You know what I'm saying? Like, other people are like, what if the girl didn't have a car? Like, dudes drive girls around all the time. Da 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 da. Yeah, that's There's no true. issue there. As they should. The fuck? Sounds like, <laughs> but no, I, what? I'm chipping. I'm. If you right, drive if you driving around, OG, right, we'll offer you gas. Gas like, money's no issue. Right, gas money's no issue. Like that's like what twenty, thirty dollars. You know, guys complain about that because like y'all don't even have cars. First of all, y'all can't even relate because niggas who got cars and drive drive their girl around, they don't complain about that shit. So niggas who broke don't got money and don't have a car, they the ones that be like, oh girls, they don't offer gas. You wouldn't know. You don't have right. a car. What's your last? My last. Oh, she just my jeans. You wouldn't know because you don't have a car. Because I never heard no guy ever say that, like, to be honest. But if there are some out there that say that, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Then that just using you. Like, I mean, not that, right. people, that girl using you. Like, if you always she, driving her around and stuff like that. Right, she, she don't never chip in. She don't never take you out. Like, hey, babe, I'm going to drive today. And that's your girl. She what if she dead don't have a license, though? Well, then she don't got, like, you need to be working on, like, if, yeah. like, there's no reason why you don't know how to drive yet. I want somebody that drives, because I drive. Like, whatever yeah. I'm asking for, I can also bring to the yeah, table. Yeah, that's Like, I'm not thing. just asking for because... I want it. Right. I have that stuff already, so I kind of want my mate to have it, but at least working on getting it. Getting it. I agree. Like, it's not like I don't have... I mean, I used to be that person, too, like, oh, I want a man to have a car, and now I really have to check myself, like, girl, you don't have your license. How the fuck <laughs> do you want... I think I want a car, honestly. That's when I was right. younger. I'm like, I can't want that for somebody. I can't want somebody to have that for, for me, and I can't provide that for myself. Right. And there's some girls, too, that, like, really won't date a guy if they don't have a certain type of car. Remember that post we saw when it was yeah, like... Yeah, I was like, a girl, she didn't. She wouldn't date a guy that has a car older than 2019. I was like, sheesh. I'm like, that's a nice car for me. My car, y'all, I have an old behind car that junk be pushing but it is old as heck as heck you feel me but i'm not about to be like oh i'm not gonna date you if you have a cool but yeah. i'm big too though y'all i'm <laughs> yeah, i'm big like, I, I mean ain't, like i'm not gonna judge i'm gonna get in the car word. as long as it ain't dirty i'm getting in the car yeah if it's not dirty i'll be fine but yeah. don't have me but who am i to judge though like don't have a dirty car though. My car yeah, is dirty. Yeah, but yeah, it. that's all. If you have like, remember my brother was like, he don't pull no girls in his van because girls really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I believe him. I believe that too because what I really take a guy seriously if he pull up to me in a van. <laughs> oh, I'll trust me when he pull up and be like, but I'll get in though. I'll get in with my head. I'm gonna be like, I'll be this like, is another car. This is another car. Like, Honestly, I wouldn't even act. I wouldn't even yeah, I won't ask how it's in my head. Like, I, in my head, I'm like, man, he got a van? All right. Like, but it car. usually be the guys with the van that have money, y'all. Y'all be y'all be thinking of Mercedes Benz and Yeah, the I'm telling you. They don't got no money. Getting a guy that got a van. I'm telling or you. A truck? No, right. four by fours. Of course. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all. <laughs> Some of them be having money. I'm not saying all of them, but, like, some of them have money. And, y'all, we're not trying to say go after guys with, like, white cars expecting them to have money. Yeah. Because that's not the case, of course. That's not what we're But I'm just saying, don't be judging people off their cars. Like, just because they got a BM, that don't mean they're paying their kids child support. Like, it's Word. people out here that really flex, but don't take care of their responsibilities. It's people got BMs, can't fill the tank. Like, people got be BMs, so... be hungry. Like, Bye. Be hungry. hungry. Gas tank empty. <laughs> like shit just empty like get all the lights on in their car like but they got the BM though no y'all yeah y'all for real for real y'all but saying, all the lights be on that shit be like engine like tired break like break like, like nah fuck that 
Even the nigga with the 4x4 four for four, 500, please. Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, yo, what, was, what, what were we talking about before that? Oh, well, I dated a guy. Oh, yeah, would you date a guy? We lost. Sorry, y'all. We were still on track, but. Yeah, would you date a guy if he had like um? No, yeah, her mom. you just dry, you just feel like a sugar mama. Yeah, no, I don't. Want like to he don't give you no gas. He just like yeah, he kiss you, give you good combo. Say yeah, baby, you got this. He support you. <laughs> <laughs> but he dead. Baby, you got this. <laughs> Besides, you can't no pills. <laughs> but I know, baby. right. But he dead don't like, and he has a job, but he just really doesn't make that much money. So like, you really, he just it's not even, he really not trying to even get a car for real. You dating him just because he doesn't have a car? I'm not dating him at all because he has. Okay, so a lot of people are gonna say you just date him for stuff. So explain. I'm not dating him if you don't have a car. If you're not trying to get a car, you like you about to be sitting on your ass and not even trying. If you don't have a car, that's fine. Like, but mm-hmm. if you're not even trying to get something or like. Mm-hmm. Just not in, like I mean unless you live in New York you don't have a car that's understandable because bitch I'm not buying a car if you're in New York but okay it's like nah it, it don't matter where you are but honestly if you don't have a car that's fine what do you have what if he has trauma but like he doesn't want to drive because of an accident that happened in a long time ago that's fine <laughs> <laughs> that's fine I guess that's fine <laughs> like. No, that's fine though, cause there's really people out here who have disorders the way they really can't drive. Yeah. Like, just where they really can't drive. But yeah, if you know, I'm talking about the guys who are normal, sane, and all that. Like, if you don't have a car, that's fine. But don't think you about to be using Cinema. me and might be sitting in my car all the time. Like, like no, <laughs> no, you not. Like, you better be working. working. Explain that story where uh, remember it started with a K. Was what? knocked out slumping your car. Oh my gosh, y'all. One time. Yeah, this is such a good story, y'all. One time, like, so it was. Hey, hurry up. Oh, we have to go, too. All right. Well, I got fucking shit on my, you know? But, uh, okay, so it was this one guy I used to date, right? And then I saw him again. He was, like, catching up, whatever. A really cool guy. Like, we didn't go up on bad terms or nothing like that. But, so he was flexing. So I was in the cafeteria when this when I was going to um, school. Mm-hmm. And we was in the cafeteria, stuff like that. It was my, my birth. I think my birthday passed or it was coming up. Mm-hmm. So he was like, oh, your birthday, da, da, you know. I was like, oh, what you about to do? He was like, you look nice. And I'm like, thank you. He was like, oh, you about to go now? I'm like, I'm going to go tomorrow. He's like, oh, I'll go tomorrow. I'll go tomorrow, you know. I'll buy you sneakers. I'm like, a oh, word? He like, yeah, I'll buy you sneakers. I'm like, oh, all right, let's go. Period. We go to the fucking mall. When you walk around. <laughs> One, first of all, he was over here holding me, touching me. He's like, no, 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 no. I do not want people to be walking around thinking that we together. No. <laughs> he was already a mistake. But, so we ended up getting back in the car, y'all. Like, and you just could tell, like, he get driven around a lot. You know, he's just mad comfortable. Mm-hmm. So we leave the mall. We come back home. I'm driving. This nigga is slumped, like, comfortable, like, mouth open, like, <laughs> Fucking saliva just gargling his throat. Like, oh. I was just looking like, mind you, we was it was like literally ten minutes in this fucking ride, like ten minutes of the ride, nigga slump. I over, I hit his fucking chest. Like, if you don't wake up, like, what do you think this is? Like, you think you in your mother car? Like, you really ugly, nigga. My majesty, I just want to pull over and just kick it out. Like. But yeah, he was mad coming. That's how I know he was. Oh, he always get driven around. Like, mm-hmm. no. But see, stuff like that that bothers me. Yeah. Like, that's mad unattractive to me. Like, if you how really you just, knocked out slum? slum. Like, you didn't even get nowhere yet. <laughs> like we just like this ain't no road trip. Like right, we literally went to Jersey Gardens and came back. I would be like, mad as so hell. He's sleeping in my car. Like we going out. You sleeping? You dead? Right. And then on top of that, y'all, he didn't even buy me sneakers. Like, wow. so I was already like, bitch, like, why do you have the audacity to tell me you're going to buy me sneakers? And I I literally was nice enough to take you back home, and you slumped like this comfortably? Yeah. He was dropped off right at the corner. <laughs> like, I didn't even reach his house. I was like, this is good for you. <laughs> this is good for you right here. <laughs> Walk. Walk. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't like driving people around. Yes. And there was this other guy too. We was, he was not we were not talking nothing like that, but like when you 
really could offer like, gas man. money. Yeah, I like, even offer gas money when I get in guys' cars. I still offer gas. Money is tight. Me too. If it's like, the first day, first no. Day, no. <laughs> we still have no, time. Bitch. Like, no, seriously though. No, bitch. If it's ask me out, you driving. Bitch. Yeah, y'all. No gas included. So we are still here. We did not leave yet. We're actually about to be ready to head out. Boo, boo, boo. But y'all see the real natural look. It, it just. It's just late, you feel me? Real, you know, I'm not doing too much. I believe I get rid of these dark marks on my face for real. It just don't be. I gotta get rid of these dark marks on my face. Like, but y'all, uh, this is me, real natural. I'm not doing too much. Um, yeah, y'all, so I'll catch y'all later. All right, y'all, look at this big old thing we got. It's dark, y'all, but we just want to get a, a cute little video for you guys. This is $34, y'all. I know I'm not going to finish this. We going to finish it. That drink was the same size last time. No, the other one was smaller. You think so? Yes, it was way smaller. But y'all, we'll see y'all later. When you're mad, see my face real quick we have a morning we'll explain everything later but uh, i don't have my tripod y'all i'm listening right now Jeez. but y'all um let's get some well walk around before we have a flight we have a flight soon y'all um we walk around get some food you know whatever before we have to go but this is a quick trip because this is freaking uber guy was taking mad long to freaking drive y'all like patience was like can you drive a little faster he's just i don't even think he understood he was just slow y'all like he was just super slow y'all but now we're just <laughs> Y'all, um, we the flight was overbooked, so guess what? We had to book another freaking hotel by the strip, y'all. So, literally, Sheesh. we're literally wasted more money again. This trip cost us more than <laughs> I don't even know what the heck, but <laughs> here we are. So this is gonna be a really long vlog. So right now we about to go on a strip. They close at 12 a.m. So we about to see what's up, get some food probably. That's all we've really been doing is eating. And um, yeah. But we think about going to Kingston, but we don't know yet because I'm going for free. myself. People get done. Kingston. Well, I don't think I don't really know. Like I was thinking about going to Kingston, but. She don't want to go because it's an insider. Yeah. But <laughs> it's okay, y'all. But right now, we're about to just go get our free drinks because this hotel where I gives us two free drinks. And we have free breakfast, which is really awesome. And then, which is 7 a.m., so we got to get up early. Oh, my gosh, we're going to miss oh, breakfast. Miss breakfast. Oh, my gosh. I'm busted for her. Oh, we really go. So we gotta eat food. I don't know where we gonna get food from in the morning, but I eat or or aha. 
But anyways, you guys, I love them all freaking pancakes. But y'all, we're about to head the freak out. Here's your voucher. This is my voucher. Look at this, y'all. Literally, free breakfast. Our flight is literally at 8 a.m., so we're going to miss it. But y'all, I miss y'all. I love y'all. Well, I don't miss y'all because I'm literally talking to y'all every day. But we about to see what's the way. We really have our airport fits on, y'all. Literally. Like, like, we look crazy. Straight regular deadlifts out here. Like, I ain't regular nor my deadlift. I ain't regular deadlift. Dumb. <laughs> but you dumb. We still try to, like, I don't know. Ugh. We just gotta do what, we just gotta make the best of the situation. We have nothing, no toothbrush, no washcloth, no undies. We, really have, shit. we have lip gloss, our credit card, our ID, and water. <laughs> and, our, and our phones, yes. And our charger, that's it, and that's it. That's all we bought with us, but it is what it is. You know, because I've done it, checking out bags. Yeah, we shouldn't have did that. That wasn't smart. But our next vacation, well, we're going on a trip next week. We just don't know where yet, y'all. We don't know where. We don't know where yet, but we'll figure it out. All we know is how we're going to get there. But, yeah. Catch y'all later. Bye. All right.